What's up guys, today we have to start off the video by saying a huge thank you to Joseph for the $10 donation. And he says in his note, I love your videos and they have helped me out a lot. Keep being awesome and I hope you get better ASAP. A few of my tunes are already in your guild. Uh, my main is Joseph Snipes. Enjoy the donation, get better soon, and keep making awesome videos. Thank you so much, man. We haven't had donations very much at all on this channel in a long time. And uh, with me doing it full time, no donations hurts. But uh, whenever somebody enjoys the channel as much as you do and is willing to make a donation, it really, uh, really helps out. Trust me. And if anybody else wants to support the channel, there is a donation link in the description below this video. So make sure to click down there if you would like to possibly make a contribution. And uh, as far as the eye being messed up and everything like that and the sickness, I'm getting better. The eye is still pretty messed up as you can see. Uh, I'll try to look in different directions so you can see it. I don't want to blow it up where my face is like real big on the, on the, video i uh, i would be a little bit embarrassed by it then but i hope you guys are going to enjoy the upcoming video about the new armor updates and uh so since we had a ten dollar donation that is going to be a rex giveaway for you guys so if you would like to take part in this giveaway all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below this video with your character name and server and make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit that like button um, if you're somebody that has created your rift account using my referral link in the description below this video and you happen to be the winner of the rex you will win 10 times that amount of rex so rex is selling for you know over 2000 platinum each now so 10 of them is pretty nice What's up guys, Graham here. I'm on the PTS right now because I was told some of the new PVP gear is on here and I wanted to see it for myself. There is a really excellent post by Still on the PVP forums kind of detailing what all is going on with the new PVP gear. And yes, I am saying PVP gear because this is the gear that is dropped out of doing PVP and you get it from the boxes. So yeah, it's PVP gear and um basically the new gear is called warmonger if you have not read the post yourself or else heard any of the news that's what i'm going to be going over here and giving you guys a first look at some of the gear all right so let's go ahead and look at it it is pretty much the equivalent of t1 epic gear and it looks like it can be upgraded to uh, t2 level and it will get a proc once you upgrade it so it gets a lot better you know the procs are pretty nice in pvp uh usually the procs aren't too significant in pvp except for like healing weapons and stuff like that but yeah it, any kind of proc is a great benefit so this of course is showing that it has crit power on the weapon it has uh, the, the equip is critical hits may cause shards of ice to deal an additional 12,484 to 15,259 damage. So yeah, that's a really good item there. I, I think I would really enjoy having that. And it is in many different versions, as in you could get the sword versions, the axe, two-handed axe. As you can see, my character there has the two-handed axe. And it's very uh, tribal looking because of the whole primalist theme that's going on right now. So uh, if you look at the blade, it of course has the whole tribal look to it as well. Uh, there isn't any kind of uh, sparklies to it or anything like that. It's a very plain looking weapon, uh, but tribal in look I, I guess like aztec or uh, aztec or something like that uh, i'm not too sure but uh looks pretty cool to me uh i thought the axe looked kind of odd but i'm sure they're going off of artwork that is from uh like whatever kind of background this uh whole design is from such as aztec or something 
So uh, let's go ahead and you've already seen the blade there. Uh, let's look at the one-handed axe. And that is a very odd looking axe. It looks more like a hammer, but yeah, not too bad. And uh, the axes are uh, in different versions. You can get a tanking axe with the reinforced right here. As you can see, it has guard and uh, really high endurance and stuff. And then um, we got our gun here, which is the, the ranged weapon. Which, uh, it looks pretty cool. Not too bad, not too bad. And then we have the shield here. <laughs> very, very tribal looking, as you can tell. It gets the face with the tongue sticking out and all that. All right, so we, we've went over the look. We've kind of went over what exactly the weapon's kind of stats are. It shows that they are definitely uh, very nice stats, as in they are uh, crit power and um, guard for the reinforced ones. And the shield has guard on it as well and really high endurance. Um, the currency that's going to be used to get these items is called the Warmonger, Warmonger's Mark. And as you can see, you can only get six of these a week. If you look at the bottom of the message there, it says you may earn six more of your weekly max of six. And every one of these Warmonger's uh, Marks are going to take a hundred thousand favor in order to purchase one. So that makes it to where uh, it is something that we can actually spend favor on uh on my characters my warrior i i really don't have a use for favor i'm basically buying these favor infused accelerators and letting them stack up in my backpack because i have no other use for them because i have consumables and all that good stuff well on my other characters they are really lacking on favor so yeah it, getting these marks is going to be a tough challenge for me on those characters but if you play enough you'll get enough of these marks and be able to get the weapons of course the the six a week means that you will have to hit the max for two weeks in a row in order to get one of the one-handed weapons and the the two handers are 24 of them so that'll be four weeks and that means that you have to hit the max Somebody has done the math on the forums and really this is a lot of war fronts in order to get the the favor in order to get these these items because favor is kind of plentiful but the cost of these is really high so it's going to take uh, I, I forget the exact numbers but it is I mean hours upon hours every day if you played every day in order to do these war fronts and hopefully you're on the winning side of them to get more uh, favor and stuff but let's go ahead and look at the web page that uh, still made his post on and we'll look at the other gear all right here we are on the forum page on uh, the PvP forums and as you can see still made this post about the warmonger armor and stuff and he checked it all out i didn't see it on the pts he must have found it somewhere else uh i seen the weapons in the rift store but i couldn't really find any of the other stuff so uh, i must have been looking in the wrong places or something but as you can see the gear is not too bad looking and it's like most of the other uh pvp gear so to say whenever you get into the frenetic gear and all that to where it lacks a little bit on uh like the primary stats but it makes up for it in like attack power and stuff like that and the attack power and crit rating and all that stuff is pretty nice on it um he did a comparison of the drown profit gear versus the uh warmonger gear and it's it's pretty much even and uh, Ocho has came out and said that uh, the T3 gear that has came out whenever it gets down bolstered he hasn't looked at the exact numbers but they are making sure that uh, the down bolstering of the T3 gear is not going to make it super better in PvP like we've seen in the past. Uh, we, we've encountered where the raid gear is just so much better than the PvP gear and it was a terrible terrible thing well they're trying not to uh repeat that 
mistake and they are saying that the down bolstering if you have the pvp gear and you upgrade it and all that good stuff the best pvp gear that you can get from the marauder satch or uh cash boxes i keep on saying satch whenever i refer to those but the the cash boxes they the gear is going to match the best that you can get in raiding whenever it comes to pvp because the down bolstering is going to make it pretty much even uh some of the gear is going to differ in a few points here and there but it's not going to be that bad and as you can see here uh he has it to where it shows the warmonger marks costing 100,000 favor and uh or else you can buy them with credits which are 750 credits it looks like so a lot of this stuff can be obtained with credits and also the other currency that's going to be needed in order to upgrade some of this gear is the abyssal crusader accelerators so you're going to have to continue to get those it isn't like you can just uh well i imagine you can spend a lot of credits in order to get these items but uh earning them in game will not be too hard it'll just take quite a bit of a time investment um let's see here the uh he goes over the weapons as well uh as he says he says the the proc effects on the t2 quality upgraded warmongers weapons are the same as those found on t1 relic weapons so so far this gear looks like it's going to be really nice uh you don't have to go raiding you don't have to worry about getting that secondary uh, marks of darkness or whatever it is that's out now uh, you don't have to worry about all that stuff if you're pvp and you can just focus on pvp and get your favor get your warmonger war warmongers mark and upgrade your gear it, it it just seems like it's so much nicer now than it was before because before we were at such a disadvantage with so many things I think it looks like it's going to be pretty nice. Uh, I, but I also have to say that if uh, if you are doing PvP right now, save your Marauder cash boxes. Do not open them. Do not open gear. If if you are still uh, working on like trying to get gear all the way up to Dream Breaker and stuff like that, it has been confirmed that whenever this gear comes out the gear that's going to be dropping out of the marauder cash boxes is going to be dream breaker level so save your boxes if you do not already have upgraded wep uh, weapons and armor and all that uh, go ahead and let it pile up and then once this gear is released go ahead and open it all up get your dream breaker items and start upgrading from there because you can go straight from dream breaker up to frenetic and then go straight to warmonger and that'll make a shorter trip to the top so to say and uh, like i said also after warmonger it looks like that you can upgrade the gear up to uh the t2 level or so so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video of us going over the new gear and something to look forward to uh disclaimer on it all all of this can change all these stats that you see on the page here they can always change the uh, everything is uh being done on pts and behind the scenes and all that so tweaks can be made the cost of these warmonger marks may go down may go up it it could be anything so yeah we're just getting a first look at it and basically showing you guys what's coming up okay guys i hope you enjoyed the video as usual my name is grim and i'll see you next time